this is Rachel with Daytaga Prattville Public Library and I am here with you all today to show you how to do the curbside craft kit for pottery painting. So today we will be painting little mini pots. Um, I'll show you everything that's in the kit, that everything that you will need in addition to what's in the kit to do this craft and you can really let your imagination run wild as you're creating today. I look forward to seeing what you guys create. Okay, let's get started. All right, so in our pottery painting kit, we have, just like last time, we have our schedule showing you what's going on this week, what's going on in more detail for each program, and what's coming up for next week. You should each have a paintbrush in your kit. I have two, but you all will just have one. And you should also have a little wrapped up mini pot. So you can just unwrap that. And there you go, a beautiful blank canvas ready to be painted. Now, you may have a little vial like this or um, little paint pots with your blue and black paint. I was not able to give everyone a whole paint, but I did divvy out blue and black for everyone in these little containers. So um, basically what we'll do is paint the pot however we like. I did make a couple of examples over here that you can use for inspiration. If you want to get really creative with it, you can add more colors that you have from home. You can use tape to create designs like I did with this one to make it two colors um, and kind of stripy. You can do polka dots. And I'm going to show you today how to do kind of a Greek or Roman um, pattern like you would see on an ancient mythical sculpture or something like that. So without any further ado, I'm going to start with my black today. I'm going to shake it up. Now, y'all's um, paint will not need shaking and in fact I wouldn't recommend that you shake it because there's a chance it could get all over the place if you do that. So don't shake your paint. Um, we're just going to go ahead and start painting. Now for this Greek design what I'm thinking is just to do kind of like a repeated labyrinth. And it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it might look a little bit more ancient and authentic if it's not. And I'm just gonna repeat kind of these zigzaggy, cool looking patterns, these sort of labyrinth-like patterns all the way around the top. As you can see, my hand's not super steady, but that's okay. It's really just about the fun of the process. So if you can think of a design that you like better, you could do flowers, you could do um, scenery. There's all sorts of things that you could make this pot beautiful with. So while I'm working on this, um, I did want to draw your attention to the fact that there's a little hole down here. So if you do plan on planting, with these um, little pots, you absolutely can, but you'll want to be sure to, um, you'll want to be sure to 
use a little yogurt jar lid or a small platter or something like that just to make sure when you water your plant it doesn't trickle down onto your furniture. And as I go here, I also wanted to mention that later on in the summer, we will be doing a presentation on how to make seed cards. So if you do that and someone gifts a seed card to you, you can plant that sweet little whatever you get, whether it's a succulent maybe, or a wildflower, or herb or something, you can go ahead and plant that in this cute little pot as a starter. And then you will want to go ahead and transplant it after, uh, after it outgrows the pot so that it can grow up nice and happy. So I'm almost all the way around here. Got a little bit of paint on my finger, but that's okay. If you have an apron, this is a great time to bust that bad boy out. Or if you are doing this craft with little ones, you can put them in an old um, adult t-shirt and that works as a really nice little smock a lot of times. Cool, so I went all the way around the top. I just kind of mixed up the direction that each little labyrinth symbol went. And now I'm gonna do, I think, I think what I'd like to do is make some pillars down here. A little bit of a stripey pattern. So I'm going to do spirals at the top and then go down. Do it again the other way. And as you can see, my brush strokes aren't super consistent, but that kind of adds to some of the whimsy of it and makes it kind of fun. And thankfully, this is acrylic paint that we're using, so it dries pretty quickly. You do want to be sure you have some newspaper or a disposable tablecloth or something like that laid down so that you don't ruin your furniture because this paint will adhere to clothing or furniture and things like that. So I've got some newspaper down. And after I'm done filming this, I'm gonna actually use this newspaper to work on our Friday Family Fun Craft, which is paper mache. So we will be making a pinata right after I'm done painting. But uh, so far I've got a pretty cool design going. I'm happy with how this design has turned out. However, I've only used one color and I am a colorful kind of gal. So that just won't do for me. I'm definitely going to add some of that blue in there. So I'm going to go ahead and set my one brush aside just because I didn't bring my water over here. And use my other brush. I'm going to shake up my blue paint. Like I said, do not shake your paint because 
I don't want you to make a mess. I don't know how sturdy those lids are. And I'm pouring some blue out here. Now the blue that I'm using for this demonstration is a little bit lighter. This is called parrot blue. Um, we used a nice bright, vivid, like cobalt blue in the kits and for these two examples. So this one's gonna look a little different, but that's okay. And basically, what I think I'd like to do with this blue is flip our design upside down and do the same swirly thing going the other way. So I'm gonna brush a little bit of this paint off my brush. I kinda had a lot on there. Um, brush a little bit off and then we're gonna go ahead and continue our swirling. It's totally up to you how much paint you use. If you like, you can use all of the paint that I have given you. If you prefer, you can save some of it for another project. Everything that is in the kit, that was provided in the kit, is yours to keep, so don't worry about returning the paint brushes or anything like that. Um, however, you might want to hold on to them so that if you need more than one paintbrush for a future project, we can kind of get you um, situated without having to try and figure out how many paintbrushes to pack in the kit as a library. So I would appreciate it if you guys would hold on to whatever leftover supplies you have, at least till the end of the summer. And now, let's see, I'm really happy with those swirls. I think it looks cool. I do want to do some blue at the bottom though. I think I'm gonna do just some lines of varying lengths to kind of tie everything together a little bit more. This looks pretty cute, I think. I'm happy with how this is turning out. And I like that some of this terracotta, the natural kind of brownie orangey color is still showing through. I think that adds some character to it. Now, I did not include any sealant in the kits because um, that would have been kind of tricky to divvy out. But if you want to use a gloss or a matte sealant or um, some Mod Podge or really probably an actual paint sealant would be a little bit better um, just so that it can keep the paint on if you decide to put your little planter outside. Um, that is a great way to go to increase the longevity of your brilliant little pottery painting that you make. And as soon as I finish these last few lines, I'm gonna feel pretty good about this. I think I'm gonna do some blue right around the tippy top too. Again, just to kind of tie it all together. And because we're using acrylic paint for this, and because you're gonna to wanna to use sealant as well, these should not be used for any sort of food things. These are just decorative or for plants or for trinkets, you could put little rocks. Um, if you did the paper plant workshop with me back in March, I think, you could put a little 
bouquet of paper plants in here. And that would be super cute. And yeah, there we go. This was a simple one. Um, oops, I'm getting blue all over me. So this is a fun way to play around with your creative side. Um, these little pots are pretty inexpensive and easy to find. You can play around with one of these little ones and then transfer your design onto a bigger and better and fancier terracotta pot if you desire. And um, yeah, this is our project. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoy painting pottery with us and we look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful day.